in the bitter first days of the fighting on the Anzio Natuno beachhead, the Germans rounded up Allied prisoners and marched them through the streets of Rome. Hitler's object was to impress the Italians with the fearful power of his armies. These captured German newsreel pictures show British and Americans taken during the winter campaign. Against the background of the historic Colosseum, Italians watch quietly. Note the absence of any demonstration. While our brave comrades were marched through the Eternal City, Field Marshal Albert Kesselring directed the Nazi divisions fighting below Rome. A huge 280 millimeter cannon led the German artillery. The joining of our Anzio forces with those that broke the Gustav line smashed the entire right wing of the Nazi defense. With the Germans in headlong retreat, Yanks of the Fifth Army enter Rome in triumph. The famous Colosseum is again the background, but now the attitude of the Italian people has changed. General Mark Clark, leader of the 5th, enters the city with his staff commanders and comes in for his share of congratulations. These are Signal Corps and newsreel pictures. The hated swastika flies no more over Rome. On the balcony of Mussolini's former palace, a G.I. Joe, Sergeant Vita, does an excellent takeoff of the ignoble Duce. The sound of bells from the Vatican announces the appearance of His Holiness Pope Pius XII. His Holiness addresses a crowd of 200,000. He gave thanks that Rome and its historic monuments were spared and blessed a grateful people. Doughboys attend mass in the holy city. Rome, the first Axis capital liberated by our troops. Umberto, the Italian crown prince, makes his first public appearance at the Royal Quirinal Palace. The new lieutenant general of the realm takes over King Victor Emmanuel's royal rights. A grenade thrown into fascist police headquarters causes the crowd to scatter. The Roman people hate the fascist police bitterly. Don't think G.I. Joe doesn't like his welcome. Neither does he scorn good old American refreshment, real beer, made in Naples of supply shipped from home. In the wrecked town of Civita Vecchia, far north of Rome, we catch up with that mighty gun. Navy pictures show its thunder stilled. The disorganized Nazis fleeing to new defense lines abandon this symbol of their power. 